What's up guys? It's recipe Thursday. I know you low carb people and you keto people miss your pasta, but you don't have to miss it because we have something that's just as good. And in my opinion, it's even better. Today we're making turkey bolognese with roasted spaghetti squash for you pasta lovers. It's weird. When I started eating low carb and I started eating um, zucchini noodles and spaghetti squash, I found that if I just twisted it on my fork, it felt the same. Okay, maybe not exactly, but it does the trick. Let's go. All right guys, first things first, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna cut the spaghetti squash into one inch wide rings. Remove the seeds. Lightly brush the um, rings with some olive oil. I don't have a brush, so I'm just gonna use a fork. And we're gonna season them with some salt. Now we're gonna roast them in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a large saucepan. We're gonna do that over medium heat. We're gonna add one pound of ground turkey. Break it up into small pieces and let that cook. We're gonna brown the meat for about five to seven minutes till there's no more pink in it and uh, make sure it's broken into like little chunks. Once that's cooked through, we're gonna transfer the meat to a bowl off to the side. And in that saucepan, we're gonna add another tablespoon of olive oil. We're gonna put on medium low heat, and we're gonna add one half cup of chopped carrots, as well as half of a yellow onion, finely diced. And we're gonna let that cook for about four to five minutes until they're soft. Once that's soft, add a half a teaspoon of minced garlic, and we're gonna cook that for another minute. Now we're gonna add one cup of sliced brown mushrooms and we're gonna cook for another minute. And next we're gonna add three tablespoons of tomato paste. We're gonna cook that up for three minutes. Get it in there. All right, we're gonna add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And we're gonna add the meat back in. One fourth teaspoon oregano, one teaspoon salt, and one fourth teaspoon black pepper. Mix that up. We're gonna let the sauce simmer on low heat and make sure to cover it. Um, if you have a cover that fits, leave a little space for it. Uh, if not, just do what I do. <laughs> so we're gonna let the sauce simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. You can, you can do it for an hour um, if you have that time, but we're just gonna let all the juices release and all the goodness happen in the sauce while it's simmering. It's time to take out the spaghetti squash. And we're gonna let that cool for a minute. All right guys, once these are cool, we're gonna let them cool a little bit. Well, you're going to get yourself some spaghetti squash just by doing that. Isn't that cool? So we're gonna do that with all of them. All right, now we're gonna top it with the sauce, which came out very nicely. Oh yeah. Layla wants some. That looks delicious. Yum. Smells delicious. Looks delicious. And I can't wait to have some. All right, guys. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. I already ate some because I really don't want to eat spaghetti on screen. But damn, it's good. Reminds me of my Mimi back in the day. Although she had real spaghetti and a shit ton of bread. So, no. But anyways, I'm gonna go um, serve this up to my family. My niece and nephew and my sister are gonna go drop it by. A uh, little like 
Hey, love you, quarantine love, you know? Um, but definitely a winner in my book. Test this one out, try it out, let me know what you think. And that's it for Recipe Thursday. Now remember, I'll be back here again next week for another Recipe Thursday, and you get to vote over on my Facebook like page on Monday to decide which recipe I'm gonna make. So make sure to follow me over there. If you know somebody doing keto low carb, or whatever, and they need some spaghetti in their life, share this video with them, get it in their hands somehow, and don't forget to subscribe because I'm coming back here every week with a new recipe, and sometimes throughout the week with some tips and other fun stuff. So don't forget to subscribe, and until next week, I'll see you then. Peace.